What's going on guys? Levi here. Short, sweet video for you today. We're going to be talking about the Tier 1 Concealed Axis Slim. This is my everyday carry holster and I kind of like it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what is this holster? Um, if I didn't say it already, manufacturer is Tier 1 Concealed. The model of the specific holster is the Axis Slim. And I talked with the Lisp, so that probably sounded really dumb. But that's what it is. Tier 1 Concealed Axis Slim. Uh, what makes this holster special? Well, it's the fact that uh, it is an, a, an appendix holster, so you carry it at the 12 o'clock position, which tons of benefits to that. Uh, very easy to maintain the gun if you go hands-on with some douchebag. Uh, very, very fast to draw. And then... Um, amongst other things conceals very well as well um, this holster specifically though one of the other advantages is the fact that you have a spare magazine connected to the holster itself which makes reloads very quickly uh, or very quick rather not only that but you always have the spare mag um, you can remove it because it uses a spongy cord um, or the shock cord I think is what they really call it which brings up my next point the fact that there is some give and flex in this holster and you can kind of see that that just really really adds to the comfort of it uh, some comparable holsters or rather a comparable holster would be the T, uh, sorry, T-Rex arm sidecar the difference between these two is a sidecar is one solid piece or rather two solid pieces the back and the front of Kydex so there's no flex or give in the holster whatsoever um, I have tried on the sidecar, it was a Glock 19, which this is for my SIG 365, uh, 365XL, not a great comparison, but point being the sidecar was comfortable, but uh, I can't imagine going a whole day wearing that, and then going a whole day wearing this, and saying the sidecar was more comfortable, it's just probably not going to happen. What's also unique about my specific one is I got these ulti clips. Now the ulti clip allows you to clamp this holster directly onto your pants without the uh, need for a belt. Of course I still wear a belt and um, one thing I found is if you do clamp this directly to your pants and not a belt, if you practice dry firing and drawing from your holster you're going to find that this little claw here that pushes against your pants to aid in, to aid in concealability this is going to want to work its way up, and eventually this is going to be uh, finding its way above your pant line, uh, your waistline, which is not what you want, right? You want it to stay in the same spot every single time. So what I found to be very helpful is with my Blue Alpha Gear E2C Minimalist Belt, I think it's called. I clamp the left ulti clip directly onto my jeans, and then I clamp the right one onto one layer of my belt, like so. And that solved the issue. I no longer have to worry about the uh, claw moving out of the way when I draw my holster or draw my firearm from my holster. Works very well. Uh, the ulti clips, I would say, are a necessary upgrade, and I would recommend everyone uh, go this route. If you don't have the need for it, then I guess don't do it, but I find it to be very, very useful. Some other cool things about the uh, Axis Slim, and for that matter, just about every uh, custom holster out there, is you can choose the colors. So me being me, of course, I chose brown and pink. Those are my two favorite colors. Um... You can also pick the color of the shock cord. I went with black just to keep it simple. Um, and I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. I mean, you probably hate this color combo, but I like it. And I'm really a good fan, or big fan of the way this looks. Um, one other thing with mine is I decided to go with no sweat guard. Uh, the sweat guard is this back piece here. And what a sweat guard does is it guards the gun from your sweat. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Do I recommend no sweat guard? P 
Probably not, and here's why. If you have a Sig P365XL like I do, you're going to run into the issue of rust. With this, your magazine release, which was the main culprit for me, is not covered. When I start to sweat, which I'm doing now because it's like 95 degrees in this car right now or more, that becomes a bit of an issue because the magazine release on the SIG does not have a very good finish on it and it did rust several times. Um, I kind of have a picture. I'll show that to you here in a minute. The other issue is the magazine also rusts. Um, I don't think the sweat guard applies to the magazine, so if you do get a taller one, this is going to be the same, but I might be mistaken. You might be able to get a taller sweat guard for that. Now, the picture I'm going to show you now is from the magazine. It doesn't look that bad. That that was just after like an hour of wearing it. Um, if I, like a good example, I went fishing the other day and then did some other work outside, and by the time I removed the gun from my, uh, or removed the holster from my, you know, waistline, I had two big old spots of rust, one from the mag release, one from the magazine on my tummy. I did not get a picture, I should have, but I didn't. Um, and that's kind of sucky, not my favorite thing. That's not really a detriment to the holster. Detriment's not the right word, but you know what I mean. Not really a con of the holster, that's more of a con of the gun itself. So take that for what it's worth. If you have a Glock or something uh, that has a better finish or uses a lot of polymer, like the mag release and the magazine, I guess, in the Glock's instance, you're not gonna have that issue. Now, if you look on the back here, this is another product from Tier One Concealed. This is the wedge. What the wedge does is it, if you look at a side of this here, it pushes against your body, like around your pelvis, and then tucks the holster in a little bit. What that does is further aid in concealability. Um, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but once you get the hang of it or get used to it, not bad at all. I actually kind of like it, and it does help big time for concealability. Now I personally don't wear an undershirt when I can still carry typically, which also further kind of explains why I have so, so much of a rust issue. But um, for all my single guys out there, this is for you. Buy a SIG 365XL, buy this holster, this exact setup. If you want to not be single for very long, sit down with the gun on you, then take off the gun after about an hour and a half, and then take off your shirt and go walk around on a beach or something, you're not going to be single for very long. Or at the very least, you're going to get a lot of attention. Now, this is not speaking from experience. I have a lovely girlfriend. I love her very much. But just saying, from the evidence that I'm seeing, if you do that, you're probably going to get some attention. Just saying. Throwing it out there. So further touching on some more details about this holster. They do make it for... Uh, handguns with lights. This, for example, is for my SIG 365, which has a TLR6 flashlight on it. Um, you can adjust the height of your mag uh, magazine release as well, which is cool. If you want to run an extended magazine, it'll put the magazine a little bit lower, which will help with concealability. Now going over, uh, oh, one more thing. It also uses Chicago-style screws as well. So going over my last finishing touches here, why do I really like this holster? Um, well, the Ulti Clips really like those. It makes it very fast and easy to remove the holster and then put it back on. Concealability is excellent. Draw speed is excellent. Magazine changes and reloads, excellent as well. Very, very fast, very easy. I use this holster for USPSA. I shoot in carry optics. Um, I have shot in open once or twice, but they changed the rules, so I went to carry optics. This is the holster I use, and I love it. So. 10 out of 10, you know, this is this is the exception to the rule. A lot of guys will say that by the time you find a holster you love, you will have gone through so many, you're going to have a bucket full of holsters that you just don't use anymore. 
wasn't the case for me. Did my research, found the one I wanted, which was this one, ordered it, couldn't be happier. So feel free to check this out. Um, I'll put a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I don't have any affiliate links for anything. So keep that in mind. Um, this is not for my benefit, it's for yours. So link in the, uh, in the description below. And I'm going to get out of this blazing hot car. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Feel free to check out the Patreon and some good causes down below if you can help support me as well as some other good causes. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I will go ahead and see you all later. one with the reload. Okay. That's the key thing here. Short, short game. How about something caught a little bit? There's a bear!